that hovers are done. So now they want me to attach A2 to here. This would be the front. So A2, which is the part for the front upper arms. We are attaching them there using the same MA2 screws. Uh, again, it's a good thing with these uh, Tamiya screws, Tamiya kits, is you don't need you don't need any special tools for anything like this. Um, all you really need is just a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. So that's on. And now we are getting B13A7. I know I said B13, but we're going into A7 right now. A7. And B parts. here I'll grab one of these now they send you two because one's for the front one's for the rear so we need B13 So now this is the front of the car facing me so I can work on this thing. Now we're going to get these and we need P7 also. So these right here are P7. which they wind up going right in here and you'll hear it snap into place. All right, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not into place. There we go, I heard a snap. All right. Let's put all the top part of it. So let's flip these like so. Uh, yeah. Now it does say put some grease on there. these right here and put that on like so grab again the MA2 screws As soon as I feel that it gets tight, I stop. Back you up a little bit. All right. So those are the upper arms are done. All right, now this is saying everything for the rear, which I already put the rear cover on. And we are now doing, oh, now, I can do a short wheelbase or I can do a longer wheelbase. 
So we're going to stick with not shortening the wheelbase. So let's put this back here. <laughs> and we are going back to parts A. I'm going to need again A2. I'm going to need um, A7. And I'm going to need B17. B17. B17, basically the same thing, the rear end here. We are going to put, first of all, we're going to clean this up. And this side, there you go. Put that like that. Again, MA2s. Basically, this rear is basically the same as the front. is set up um, now what they're telling us to work on now is attaching the motor but I'm going to skip that for right now and we're going to go on ahead and keep working on the suspension so we're going to work on the rear lower arms now so we're flipping this upside down, like so. Now we need parts B1 and A9. Now we want Tamiya facing the front which go right into the chassis there that's going right into the chassis there before we do that okay now we need a9 we need a9 right here clean off these parts and she's going just like this. Just like that. Another MA2 screw <clears throat> is going in right here. There we go. All right. So the rear, guys, the rear is arms, uppers and lowers are done. Now we get to attach the rear bumper. So we need B8. B8. B8 is going on right back here like so. And we're going to need MA3s. which are these here, I mean, A3 screws. See the way they are, which are gonna go there, and 
in there. Grab the drill, actually, and we're going to need MA1s, which are these two right here. And again, if we are not certain, all we have to do, excuse me, have the hiccups, let's come to the back here, MA1s. All right, so MA1, that's the one. And we need two MA1 screws. So one there. The other one right there. Grab my trusty drill. And have at it. The other one. Alright, so now that's done. Okay. Now we get into the B bag. So now we're going to need C3. C3, right there. Clean that up. Now we're going to need bearing here, bearing here now these bearings here is where I want to use the AW grease and supposedly from what I hear this is really sticky stuff man So now we're also going to need A1. Alright, so go ahead and clean everything off there. Move this chassis to the side for right now. And get our bearings and the shafts and nice fit ladies and gentlemen fit in there perfectly that fit in there perfectly all right attaching front lower arms I completely skipped over that front lower arms so we're going to need <laughs> Completely skipped over that. Sorry, guys. Um, so we're going to need P7, two P7s, two B14s, and an A9. Grease, 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 grease. Throw some grease right in here. Not too much. And you want where it says Tamiya to face outward. So you want it to face away from the chassis. There, like that. Then you're going to grab a nine and throw some grease in here too. I just remembered. I just remember that I actually didn't put any in the rear of this part here on a nine. 
So we'll put that there. We're going to need screw-wise M82. So M82 right there. There we go. M82. So now the lower are together. The one thing I did not do was put these on which put on now. Now those are on. And B8. We can put B8 on with these screws here, MA1s on the front there's two okie dokie set that right there because we're going to need that and that's done so now we're back here again so now we go on to the high ground clearance. We're going to page 18, high ground clearance here. So we're going to need A8, which is this piece right here. Now on the front, we're going to grab C1 here, dog bone, dog bone, and C2, which I had already cut one out. This was C2. And again, you want a nice clean, that's why you use a blade here. So we're going to put some grease on this bad boy here. hope that holds that somewhat so now we're going to need an A10 two A10s all right these two A10s leave right here to the side and we're going to need MB2 screws. B bag. And then we're going to need one and two, three, and all four of these screws. So that now that we have everything situated, everything we're going to need. Throw that to the side there. We are going to go with the high ground clearance. So let's push all that there to the side. Now we're going to flip over to the page 18 for the high ground clearance. So now what we're going to do is dog bones and everything are in. We're going to grab our chassis here. We're going to put these into here. There's one. This bottom one in here like that and now we're gonna grab a8 which is this one here see that a8 and we're gonna put it on top of 
here like so. And don't forget to put the dog bone in place here. Put that bad boy in like that. 810, you're gonna put 810 there. And you're gonna grab these MB2 screws that are gonna hold the front steering all together. All right, that top one is on. Now I'm gonna flip it. A six, I forgot to grab something else. A six. <laughs> Throw that in there like that. Grab the, uh, dang it, what screw was this? <laughs> I don't know. Grab the screw. There we go. So now that side is done with the high ground clearance. Very nice. So let's go on ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So now we did the high ground clearance on the front. As you guys can see, front suspension, well, at least the front A-arms uh, are basically done. So now this does move somewhat freely. I think something that I might end up doing, so I don't know if you guys can see or not. So something that I might wind up doing, that's how much travel, steering travel I get on the front. Um, what I'm probably thinking of doing is, I don't know, maybe cut these blocks off here probably on the upper arms, lower arms, to get more travel. Don't know yet, or I'll probably just leave it like that. Um, all right. So now the rears. Let's just end up getting all this all set up and done with here, guys. That's, that's what I'm gonna be doing now. Wasn't going to, but I am. So once I get this rear set up, Done. I know I need these, so I need two C3s. Beautiful. Two more of these. going to go with the high ground clearance so we got to go back to page 18 and um, we're going to need a 11 so here is 
a 11. A 11. Clean off these edges here. So now A11 looks like for the high ground clearance. So for regular ground clearance, it looks like it would end up being like this. And for high ground clearance, we're flipping it up this way. So basically, we're flipping it like this one. So let's go back to page 18 here. High ground clearance for this bad boy. And yeah, we're gonna need this one. Right into there like that. This one, right into here like this. All right, put one to the side, and again, this is for the high ground clearance. We are putting this bad boy in like this, and like this, and we are going to need these two screws. So we're going to be using these. Right on the back here. Here's the top. Here's the bottom. ground clearance for both the front and the back so I'm going to make a modification to these things right now so if you guys can see here the front is actually I can get more travel I can get more travel on the front here than I can on the back. So if you guys look at the back, I can't, I'm not getting any travel down. So what I'm gonna do here is, again, this is a rally car, so I'm trying to get, as much down travel as possible. What I'm seeing that is causing me not to get a lot of ground clearance here is this here. You guys see these two tabs? Those two tabs are basically not letting, there we go, here we go. So those two tabs are basically not letting the thing go down further than it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to chop these off. I'm gonna chop these off and go from there. All right, so I went down, got my Dremel, and uh, as you guys can see, I cut them off on that one and on this one here. So now let's go on ahead and put them back together. There we go. And that's a lot better. Now I have a lot more
air a lot more in the back. That looks a lot, that is a lot better. Doesn't look like it's gonna bind up in the back there. So that's good, awesome. So now that that one's done. All right guys, so that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it off at for today. Um, I think I got some pretty good progress done on, uh, on this chassis. And uh, I was gonna leave it off here today. Uh, tomorrow, or in the next video, actually, we will more than likely be working on the shocks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's where we will most likely be. We left off, so I'll show you guys here. We left off on 20, we got all that done. The next step that we're doing, here we go. The next step that we're doing is the, the shocks. So that's where I'm going to leave off in this video today, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm enjoying putting this thing together. Um, I still have to order the color for it so I can get the right color, which to me actually tells you in the booklet here, in this book here, to me, it actually tells you exactly what color it is that you're going to need for this body. Uh, if you're do going to do the same color, which I am, because I really like this uh, this World, World Rally Blue is what Subaru calls it. And um, I think the blue just looks awesome. I could also do it in white, which is one a color that I really like doing cars in is white. Um, but guys, let me know down in the comment section if I should, uh, A, put the stickers on, uh, B, paint it blue, or paint it white. Or like a pearl white, I don't know, get some different wheels than the ones that came with it. Um, again, this is going to be my rally car, so I could give it my own little touch. Uh, I could probably end up getting some, uh, stickers made for it, uh, with, you know, trying to come up with a logo actually <laughs> of uh, Adrenaline Motorsports and RCs. So, I mean, hey, uh, right now it could go either way. So guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button, subscribe if you uh, like this content. And uh, hey, I will see you guys in the next video, which we will be doing the suspension. And um, guys, that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it off at. See you guys in another video. Have a good one.